men are saying they're getting their passport because there aren't enough fit, feminine, and friendly women to choose from. And instead of looking in the mirror and asking ourselves if we would make great wives to these men, we would much rather shame them and guilt them into staying with our mediocre ass. Ma'am, if you're not fit, feminine, or friendly, then you're not what these men want. Shut your ass and go to the gym. Like, do we see how toxic we are? Really think about it. Why are so many women so bothered that men are going outside to find fit, feminine, and friendly women when they themselves aren't willing to become fit, feminine, and friendly? You're not willing to give men what they want, but they should not go out and find it elsewhere. So they should be stuck with you and your mediocre self. Let's put our emotions to the side and just think of how toxic that is. Yo, what's up guys? Back again with another video for the Passport Bros. First and foremost, please hit that like, comment, subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot and I appreciate it very dearly. Now, what this beautiful woman is saying in this video is nothing but facts, facts, facts. Round of applause, one time for the one time. Round of applause, man. She, she was spitting, I'm not gonna lie. She was spitting, man basically saying that a lot of these women are flip floppers pancake hoppers flip flop in and out of what they want flip flop in and out of saying one thing then it's another thing now it's back to one thing the same men that you say you don't want now other women want them they're going for friendly, fit, feminine women that a lot of these women are against because they say, oh, that's quote unquote slavery. That's this, that's that, that's whatever labels and terms they want to call these things. You know, we're in a label culture, label shaming that's running rampant these days. They don't want to be fit, feminine, friendly, respectful, loving, kind, nice they don't even want to be nice but yet you get mad at the men who do want to find a woman who is nice that's what men deserve that's what the men want why would the men want to be with a woman who is not friendly fit feminine nice Men don't like women that are combative. Men don't like women that are aggressive. Quick break, guys. I just wanted to introduce to you the free money-making guide to become a passport bro and sustain your lifestyle overseas. How to make money as a passport bro working remotely. Get your guide now. Join the community. The link is in the description below and in the comment section as well. Let's get this money, guys. Men don't like women that are disrespectful. Nobody likes anybody that's disrespectful, especially men. So, and men have the power to pick and choose who they want to be or who they want to be with. So if they don't pick you because they've analyzed that maybe you're not the best fit for them, they have every right an opportunity to choose elsewhere. So why are these women mad? Why are you mad? Why are they making these videos, shaming, blaming, name calling? Why are you so concerned with those who don't want you? That within itself is like a type of like mental disorder that you are so concerned with those who are not concerned about you. It's not normal. It's not ordinary. For you to care so much about men that they have clearly stated they're done with you. And they don't need to keep stating it because they're stating it with their actions. Actions speak louder than words. That's why the men are leaving. They're catching their passports. They're chucking up the deuces up, deuces down, and they're going overseas. 
from that action alone, we can we can assume that the men are fed up. They're done with the Western women and the constant bickering back and forth. The long list of things that they're not going to do. But there's nothing on the list of the things that they will do. It's like, of course, the men are going to go over and find what's better. Of course, they're going to want to find elsewhere. It only makes sense. But why do you have a problem with that? You should stand firm in the fact that, okay, you don't want to be like this. You don't want to conform to what they want. Okay, so you should also conform to the fact that you're not going to get one of them. But they're mad because they feel as if even though I don't conform to what you want, you should still want to be with me. You should still want to listen to me. You should still want to work with me, even though I'm not trying to work with you. How does that make sense? How is that logical? How is that normal? It's very narcissistic for you to think that you can have your way and everybody else should just obey. It's not just about you. It's not just about your feelings and what you want. Is deeper than that. Especially when we're talking about relationships. In a relationship, it's two. There's both sides. There's two people, two uh, uh, parting sides that are working together as a team, as one accord. That's how it should be. But from their mentality, they're operating as if it's just me, me, me. What I want, what I need, how I feel, how you made me feel, what I don't like, what I what I don't want from you, what I do want from you, what I don't want you to tell me, it's everything me, 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 me. But it's supposed to be us. Why isn't it us? Because they don't care about us. They don't care about the men. They don't care about what the men want. They don't care about what men, what the men like. They only want to do for themselves. That's the very reason why they can say, well, I'm not, I'm not being a slave. I'm not, I'm not being feminine, fit and friendly. I'm not a slave. I'm not doing that. And then you get mad when the men want to find the women that do do that. It's fine for you to say, okay, I'm strong and independent. I don't need no man. That's fine. Perfect. Kudos to you. But the men are going to find a woman who does need a man. And we're going to leave you by yourself. But then they're going to get mad. That is not normal. And we have to start analyzing how mentally disturbed a lot of these Western women are. We have to be completely honest because it's not normal for you to not want to work with someone. You don't want to cooperate. You don't want to play with the team. You don't want to you don't want to be part of the team. You don't want this to be a team effort because you clearly don't want to put any effort forth on your end. But now your other teammates say they want to play with another team, women overseas, and now you're mad because they don't want to deal with you anymore. It's like, what other scenario would you have wanted for them to do? And any other scenario other than that would be one that's destructive to your teammates. If this is a basketball team and we have a full squad of five guys and we about to go up against another team, 
if one of the guys on our team says he doesn't want to work with us, he doesn't want to work out, he doesn't want to come to practice, he doesn't want to do anything that's necessary for the team to have success, for the team to flourish, that one individual will bring down the whole team. It could be a team of all all-stars. Let it be one guy that says, oh no, I'm done. I don't want to do this. I don't want to work with you. I don't want to cooperate. No, I'm done with this. That can literally be the destruction of that team just because of one individual. Men don't want that. Men don't want that type of team. Men don't want that type of relationship. Men want cooperativeness because men are willing to cooperate. So it only makes sense for men to deal with those who also want to cooperate. With that being said, guys, they will shame, they will blame, but they cannot contain because the passports will rain. If it ain't foreign, it's boring. If it ain't foreign, I'm ignoring.